Good morning. You're watching Breakfast Television. It is 827. If you are in a relationship right now and you're thinking, man, I wish my sex life was a little bit more exciting or I wish I had some sex, uh, not to worry. Kim Switnicki is here. She's a sex coach. LionessforLovers.com. Thanks again. Uh, some great tips to have a uh, spice your sex life on a budget. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. In fact, saves money. Date exactly. nights out. Exactly. No <laughs> kidding. Yes. But we, uh, not everyone is so lucky to be having such a great sex life and we've been receiving your emails. Keep them coming. Breakfast television at citytv.com. Um, and some of the, again, if you have killed kids in the room, just keep in mind we are talking about sex here. So here's one that uh, came to us from Jen in Victoria. Mm -hmm. She said that she's lost her groove. She's in her late 30s, and uh, her husband had, and her just had her second child about nine months ago. So they've spent so much time over the last five years with sex being a very mechanical thing, like yeah. we're trying to have a baby. So now she's kind of turned off with sex and she uh, hopes to get the passion back because she feels her, her marriage won't last if she doesn't. Well I think it's fabulous for one that she's even writing in the question so she obviously gets that sex is really important and she does want to have this in a relationship and I think the key there is that intimacy because I would recommend to her to think about what are the things that you were doing back at the beginning of the relationship before the pressure to have kids came along whether it was location some of the things you did maybe there were things that that you and your sweetie did together that were fun and get some of that fun romance back in the intimacy before you get into the actual sex and then you can look at spicing things up but try to get that connection back that's romantic and that's the part that will then lead to having the, the sexual relationship naturally spark itself. Does a conversation need to happen though with her and her husband? Communication is always the key. Every type of sexual issue there is always boils down to yeah. communication. So speaking about it, saying I really want want to have this so that he knows, oh, okay, she hasn't just given up. So absolutely having that open communication right. is the very first thing. You're Excellent. Right. Okay, we received another email. This one, this person chose to be remain anonymous, which mm -hmm. I imagine is something that's not unusual because it's very difficult yeah. sometimes to talk about. Uh, her and her husband have been married for 23 years, but they haven't had sex in about 10 years. Uh, she said they still love, respect one another. They just don't have that connection sexually mm -hmm. anymore. They even sleep apart. They have separate beds. Uh, they don't want to hear, you know, she doesn't want to hear him snore and she just loves her own bed and she thinks that at this point now because it's been 10 years maybe it's been just too darn long uh, to even think of connecting in that way she just seems it almost it, it seems strange but there's no question they love each other they care mm -hmm. about each other they just yeah. it's been gone too long and and it's never too late the fact that she's writing in means that okay maybe there might be something and again communication and also I wouldn't recommend jumping into a great fabulous wild sexual relationship right now because it's not going to happen likely and so you need to start again and start dating dating is really important in situations like this and this is really really common not everybody has been 10 years but even a few years or a few months start the dating start the romance uh, touching each other holding hands maybe having showers together you don't have to have sex but start to have that intimacy again but happening when, when you look at that though that it's mm -hmm. been 10 years yeah. I mean it, it gets to that point not just like oh wow it's been 10 years yeah. I mean there, yeah. there came a point where maybe yeah. they weren't having it quite as often is there yes. a minimum amount that people should have to keep that connection and no and that's what I, I call it discovering your sexual truth to me it's really important to figure out what you want not what maybe Cosmo or Oprah your sister your neighbor your cousin might say and for them this may work for them it may May work for some couples you only make love once a year yes. the key is if you're both absolutely satisfied with that 100% consensual on both sides 100% pleasure those are my two rules for sex so no right or wrong in that case exactly. as long as everyone's happy okay exactly. let's go to Thor Thor is one of our producers and mm -hmm. entertainment host here on breakfast television he has a question for Kim mm -hmm. Kim tell me what do you do when your partner's libido doesn't quite match yours you know I'm kind of up here and partners a little down here well you are not alone I have yet to meet any couples where both of them have matching libidos yeah. so really really common okay. now the first thing to do is is make sure both people have uh, themselves checked by a doctor make sure there are no physical issues to be concerned with hormones uh, lots of um, prescription drugs will affect and impact your libido and also then have the conversation because it's one thing to have that happen in every relationship and it's another to never talk about it 
So discuss it and be open. And then again, it's really around intimacy and having the conversation and starting to figure out what it is that really works for your lover. Perhaps massage really works for them. Find out, have the conversation. What needs to be in place for us to have sex? There you go, Thor. And nice. talk about it. Maybe it's massage, and if you're willing to do what is required, then things may change for you a little bit. You, you do what's required, right, Thor? Oh, I always try. That's right, exactly. <laughs> okay, you know what? It, you know, we've still got more questions. Um, Kim, do you, could you stick around, do you think? Absolutely, for okay, sure. Okay, great. All right, so then if you do have more questions, please email us, breakfasttelevision at uh, citytv.com. We want to hear your questions and help get your love life back on track. We'll see you in a couple of seconds, Kim. It is 8.33. Here's Mark with your news.